Shalom and welcome to Mitzvah Torah. This year is entitled Two Fascinating Proofs that Mariv is not the same level as Shachrit Mincha. So there's a famous term called Mariv is Rishot, optional. What does that mean? A whole bunch of shitos. Some say, well, originally it was optional, we took upon ourselves a minak. Some say even when it was instituted, it wasn't instituted with the same level of stringency. But Lamaisa, bottom line is, we have a shach with Mincha Mariv, what from Jews, not have a shach with Mincha Mariv, with a minion every day. Okay, Kelowna, a little bit different, but we also we treat Marv the same way as Shachar to Minha. There's two several cases where it's a little bit different. Two cases was a bit different. Number one, Rekiva Eger Schitz, we mentioned in the previous year, where a person goes ahead and doesn't say more to Geshem at night. So on Friday night, he's Yodse, because if he just hears the Chaz and say, Me'ain Sheva, Keladot is under, so he listens, he's Yodse. How could that be? Friday night, the Yotze from hearing an abbreviated version, there's two big leniencies. One, they can be Yotze from hearing Chazar Hashat, Shachos Mincha doesn't work. If you know how to daven by yourself, you need to daven by yourself. You cannot have someone do it for you. Chazar Hashat's only for someone who doesn't know. So leniency number one is that Friday night is Rashut and happen to have a repetition of Shmona Esrei. If you had that any other night, it also would work. You just don't have it. So therefore, they said, you know what, listen to Chazar Hashat, that's enough. Not ideal, but it's your yotze. And it's an abbreviated form, it's not even the full form, and still, those are two leniencies Friday night. And what happens in another case? Tuesday night, you miss Marv. You didn't die, you fell asleep early, you just slept through the night, it wasn't on purpose. So you have to do Teshlumen, you do Shachras first, and do a second Shimon Esrei. That second Shimon Esrei, the Mishaburah says in Kuf Chet, that second Shimon Esrei, you have to say another one. If you say you're not a little tired, you listen to the Hazan's repetition. Since it's a repetition for Mariv, also, you could be Yotze. So when we talk about Mariv being reassured, it really doesn't mean anything day to day, but there are several leniencies that come out here and there. In theory, Lamaisa, we should dive Marv, and we should dive in second Tashlumen to make a Marv as well. But the fact that you could rely on the Chazan shows it's a different level of obligation where the rabbis were a little more lenient that you could listen to the Chazan Friday night and be Yotze. Not ideally, but you Yotze. And so too, if you have to make up Marv and you have a two Tashlumen in the morning, you can listen to the Chazan be Yotze. Not ideal, but you Yotze, which shows that when you're trying to fulfill the mitzvah of Marv, it's, it's technically a lower level, it's Rashut, even though there's no major day-to-day ramifications, a little insight, that's a different level of than the other tefillah. Shalom.